Hello and welcome to Love Anything Art. Today I'll be making these Goomba inspired earrings. These are the supplies I used. I've mixed some red and brown clay, more brown than red, and then rolled it into a ball. Form one end into a dome shape. And then on the other end, on each side, you'll want to pinch out two round areas, kind of like cheeks. And then pinch it between your fingers and flatten lightly. And then smooth out all of the seams. These Goomba earrings were inspired by my stepson. When asked what earrings I should make next week, he replied, these guys. So this video is for you, kiddo. I hope you enjoy. Use a flat round ended tool to make a gash for the mouth. And I am going somewhat deep to make the mark stay. And then lightly pinch it back together to close up the hole. And then use the pointed end of a tool to make a little hole or pocket on each corner of the mouth. This is where his teeth will set. Roll out some white clay until it is very thin. Make each end come to a point, and then cut off each end in equal length pieces. Place one on each corner of the mouth in the pockets that were made. Roll out some more white clay until it is thin. Cut off two equal length sections. Roll each one into a ball and then gently flatten. You can tap it against a hard surface or between your fingers. Because the clay is super small, it will get very warm very fast so it might become a little sticky. If this happens, you could always cut off another piece and begin again, but generally you just wanna kinda of work as fast as you can. If it sticks to your fingers, you can use your tissue blade and gently remove it. I'm just trying to set it up on my finger so that it is easier to transfer to the clay and get it to stick. Because once you get it on there, it's pretty much over. And then place on his second eye. And then roll out some thin black clay and cut off the world's second smallest piece of clay ever. You'll need two of those. And then place these on the whites of the eye. And then roll out some white clay and cut off the world's number one smallest piece of clay ever. And then place these on the black dots. I want to thank everybody for watching my video today. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I do make videos every Tuesday. And I do put out bonus content videos on Thursday sometimes. Roll out a thin piece of black clay, flatten one end, and then you're gonna kinda wanna curl it up into a little whoosh. This is gonna be his eyebrow. These little Goombas have big, angry eyebrows. You can bend it and shape it once you place it on. Roll 
pull out some tan colored clay and then slightly taper one end. I want one end to be slightly thicker than the other. And then I'm just going to smooth out the seams from where I cut it to make sure it's nice and smooth. Place the slightly thinner side against the base of the Goomba head. Once it's attached, pre-poke your eye hook hole and add in your eye hook. To make the feet, roll out two balls of dark brown clay and then two balls of tan colored clay. Slightly flatten the ball of dark brown clay. It'll kind of look like a pancake. Mmm, pancakes. Take the small ball of tan clay and then pinch it between your fingers and flatten it. Place this in the center of the dark brown clay. Make a second one and attach these to the bottom of the Goomba body. And then tap, tap, tap into place. I've rolled out some gold clay and some dark brown clay and made one end of each tapered and then cut them into sections. Start with the dark brown clay. And with the gold clay, you'll remove the first section and place that aside. Pick up the next section. And I'm going to smooth out the seams. And then you'll attach this to the brown clay. And then I'm going to set aside three pieces of the dark brown clay to get to a smaller piece of clay. And then I'll round out the edges and attach this to the gold clay. You want to continue going, making each piece smaller than the previous one. And I will end with the dark brown piece of clay. And then roll, only gently enough to attach the pieces and to smooth out the seams. You don't want to make the piece any longer than it currently is. Attach this to the back base of the Goomba body. And then bend it and shape it however you want. And I've made a second one for my pair of earrings and I'll bake my pieces. Don't forget to glue in your eye hooks and resin your pieces if you so wish. Assemble your earrings and you're done. Although these little guys are cute. I don't know that they entirely look like little Goombas. I did my best, and it was fun, and it was a request video for my stepson. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!